Hey guys, it's Phil coming back at you with another video. Today, I'm back. I'm excited. I'm pumped up. Hopefully, everyone's doing well. Practicing self-care, not letting one thought, one situation, one person take them outside of what they know to be true. And that you're doing the best thing that you can. And that's just being you, not letting anybody influence who you are if it's not the right thing. And that's my push today is if it's not the right thing, it's okay to, to reassess, make the adaptations, and do the next right thing for yourself. Because it's easier it's easier for you to adopt what somebody else is doing, but the problem in that equation is that what somebody else is doing may not be the best thing for you because they're not you and you're not them. So when you are in this situation, never, ever, 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 ever forget that it's better to adapt the situation to what works best for you because you're the only person that can be you. So that's my push. Never let anybody tell you what you should be doing. Do the next right thing for yourself. Analyze everything. Have discernment and decide, is this something I should be concerned with or is this not something that I should be concerned with? This video is going to be providing information on how to register for the next free study group. The next free study group is going to be this Saturday, 6-4, starting at 3 p.m. Eastern time until they kick us out. They can't really kick us out. Why? Because I'm the host and I don't really have an end time on it because it goes as far as we particularly need it to go because it's going to have a multitude of different layers to it. We're going to be going over practice questions. We're going to have people that have passed their exams come back and share how they went into the exam, kicked it directly in the chest to get the job done. We're going to have people that are struggling to pass the exam come and get insight on how they can go on the exam to kick it directly in the chest. So the purpose of this free study group is multiple different reasons. One, give you guys encouragement to go into the exam to kick it directly in the chest, just like the people that are coming back to share their experiences have done. We're going to be going over questions so that way you get a better idea of what and how you actually can break down the questions. But in addition to that, if you're lacking motivation or if you're somebody that's not feeling like you're doing the right things or you're not really sure you failed the test, you're lacking energy, you're not really sure where you should go, this study group is one that you should attend. If you're looking for us going over a ton of content and practice questions, this is not the session that is going to be best for you. The sessions that you'd be looking for are the Sunday study groups and the next Sunday study groups that are coming up are as follows. Six, five client interventions going over the individual client modalities as well as the family modalities and practice questions related to those. 612, acronym and practice questions. So going over each level of the acronym, not giving you buzzwords, not giving you shortcuts, but allowing for you to be able to recognize and apply what each of these levels of the acronym could mean. And then going through practice questions to tie it all together so that way you don't just get the information, but you're able to recognize and apply as it relates to questions on the exam. And I always say it, I always say, it, do not, do not, do not come into this session expecting to get every single question correct. And why I say that is because a lot of times people have been practicing with other programs or practicing doing different things and they expect to come into the session and destroy the questions. But the questions that I write tend to be more difficult than the ones that are on the actual exam. So if you are coming into the session, come with an open mind, identify how are you good in the answer, not just whether you're getting it correct and or incorrect. The next session after that is 619, reviewing research program development and program evaluation. So reviewing the content and the aspects that could be related to those topics and then tying it all together with practice questions at the end of the session. The next one after that is 626, and that one is going to be going over practice questions as well. It's going to be going over the five-step process that I recommend every single person to utilize to go on the exam to kick it directly in the chest to get the job done. It's going to be providing tips that I find most helpful for people to to keep in mind as they're preparing for and while they're inside of the exam and going over practice questions as well. And the practice questions in the 626 session are going to be different than the questions that are in 612. So if you want to attend both sessions, don't sweat it. Don't worry and be like, oh my gosh, I want to do both, but I don't want to get the same questions. And if you've been a question group of mine in the past, it's going to be different questions as well. And if you want any information related to those, send me an email at berda24 at gmail.com or click the link down below in the description. It'll take you to my calendar. It's pretty seamless. And if you have any questions, like I said, send me an email at berda24 at gmail.com as well as, as well as, as well as the next one day course. The next one day course is going to be 
on 618. It is going to be all day starting at 11 a.m. Eastern time until they kick us out. No one can kick us out because I'm the host, but I don't really provide an end time for this because, because, because it provides a lot of information and the length of time can vary. The last couple have been 12 hours, 13 hours. And yes, if you're not able to attend the session all the way through, it's 100% possible to get the recording because it's very difficult for people to stay on for that long, but you can review the recording as much as you want. And if you're like, Phil, what the heck is the one day course? The one day course has been the most successful thing that I've been able to create. Why? Because it provides you the most amount of information, but it also gives you an idea of what you can expect inside of the exam and then puts you through difficult practice questions. So the content or what we will review in the one day course is as follows. Tips off how most helpful for people to go on the exam to get, get Dracula in the chest to get the job done. And we'll also go over the most common reasons why people fail the exam because the best way for us to learn what not to do inside of the exam is based off of people's experiences of what they did and what did not work for them. So that way you can be mindful of those things as well. Going over a different array of topics, subpoena versus court order, referral versus supervision, operant conditioning. We will be going over the personality disorders, the schizophrenia spectrum, the differences between bipolar one and bipolar two disorder, the medications. We'll also go over the five-step process that I recommend everybody to utilize on the exam to go on the exam to kick a directly in chest to get the job done. We'll be going over the acronym and tying it all together with 25 practice questions. And again, what I said in the previous of if you expect to come to the session to get every single question correct, do not, do not, do not set that expectation. Not that I don't want you to be successful, but a lot of times people come into the sessions that have practice questions, they beat themselves up, they will almost want to reschedule their test, and that's not the purpose. The purpose is that I would rather put you through difficult questions or difficult situations outside of the exam, so that way when you're inside of the exam, it's not as difficult, you're not as stressed, you're not as beating yourself up or do grading yourself, but you're looking at the exam and saying, where's the difficulty? Where's the tricky questions? Because you've already prepared in a way that is going to help you perform versus just practicing in a way that makes you feel good. And if you want any information related to the one day course, send me an email at berda24 at gmail.com or click the link down below in the description. It'll take you to my calendar. Signing up is relatively easy, but if you have any issues or anything, or if your exam is prior to 618 and you want a one day course, it is possible to access the previously recorded version. And if you want access to that, send me an email at berda24 at gmail.com and I'll send you the information as well as for those that do not know, Audible has continued to partner with me on my YouTube videos and my podcast. So if you want to support me as well as support them, go to my Audible affiliate link at www.audibletrial.com slash fill in the gaps. Sign up for the 30-day free trial and signing up for the 30-day free trial is how you can support me. It costs you absolutely nothing. And if you're like, man, what is Audible? Audible is an easy way to get information on the go. So if you want to get information and become the best possible version of yourself, but you're busy just like me or you can't really focus while reading books, Audible is an easy way to do that. If you want to support me as well as support them, go to my Audible affiliate link at www.audibletrial.com. Slash fill in the gaps, or if you're like, Phil, I don't want to type that out, go in the description, click that, sign up for the 30-day free trial. I appreciate every single one of you guys that have done that all ready. And if you're like, man, Phil, I want to do that, but I'm not sure what book I should get with my 30-day free trial. Well, there are a couple that I would recommend. The Alchemist, The Archer, Traumatized, and Outliers. Each of them have different lessons that can help you not progress just professionally, but personally to become the best possible version of yourself and if you could do me a favor, hit the like button down below because it allows for other amazing social workers just like you to find my videos as well. And leave a comment down below, something positive, something that you're going through, or if you plan to come to the free study group this Saturday, as well as if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell notification next to it, and hitting the bell notification next to it sends you an email every time that I upload a video because you don't want to miss anything. And if you haven't already, check out my podcast at Fill in the Gaps on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, and Spotify for other pieces of information or resources to help you go into the exam to kick a track in the chest to get the job done. As I stated, the next free study group is this Saturday, June 4th, starting at 3 p.m. Eastern time until they kick us out. And if you're like, man, Phil, how do I register for that? The easiest way to do that is go to my calendar at fillinthegaps.as.me. The link 
will be on the screen, but also down below in the description. And once you click that link, it'll take you to my calendar. And this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to walk you through the steps. So you're like, man, I'm new to this. Well, this is what the steps are going to be. And then after the steps, I'm going to provide some words of guidance and motivation. So if you're like, man, I don't really want that. You'll get the instructions how to sign up for the free study group. But if you want that as well, hang in there and let's see what we got. But again, it, the way you go to my calendar is fillinthegaps.as.me and it'll take you to that or click the link down below in the description. Once you click the link down below or type it in to your browser, it'll take you to this calendar. This is the same calendar that you can sign up for individual tutoring sessions, the one day course or the Sunday study group. So you'll click this one that says free study group. You'll click your time zone, whatever your time zone is. I'm in Eastern time zone. And a lot of times people get tripped up after the step. You have to click set time zone. The only date that will be available is this Saturday, the 4th. So you'll click that, hit add time, hit continue, and then enter your information. And for those that do not know, my name is Philip Luttrell, and I also go by Phil. You'll enter your email, whatever email address you want the information to go to. But make sure, make sure, make sure that it's spelled correctly because you do not want to miss out on the session because you didn't enter the information correctly. So review it. Put your name, put your email address. My email is berda24 at gmail.com. You'll click complete appointment. And this is the confirmation page. If you want the link and you don't have Zoom, just click that. But here is the meeting link. So if you want this, just copy it, keep it somewhere, but you'll get reminder emails as well. You'll get a reminder email 24 hours and one hour before this session. But if you want the link ahead of time because you're like, man, I don't want to miss it this is where you get the link. But again, those are the steps that you do. You just click on the link down below in the description, or you type in fillinthegaps.as.me into your web browser. You click the free study group. You click your time zone and hit set time zone. Click the date. You go through the process. It's relatively seamless. You hit continue. You type in your name. You put your email in. Review your email to make sure that it is the correct one, and then you are all set, and you will receive a 24-hour and one-hour reminder emails. Like I said, relatively easy, and this session, again, is going to be for individuals that are struggling to pass their exams, looking for motivation. I'm going to be going over some practice questions, but also having people that have gone to the exam, kicked it directly in the chest to get the job done, come back, share their experience, and hopefully give as much energy and positivity as we possibly can. So hopefully I see every single one of you guys there. Those are the easy steps on how you get that done. It's relatively seamless. If you have any questions, you can send me an email at berda24 at gmail.com. Relatively stress-free. And as promised, let's get into some motivation and ideas of what have been going through my mind and a huge idea that I've been having based on the feedback of a lot of you is man, Phil, a lot of people are telling me what I should do. Man, a lot of times I'm not meeting the expectations that I feel like I should be meeting. Like what's wrong? Like, man, I keep going into the test. I'm not passing. Other people around me are passing or people are telling me that I should do this strategy or this strategy and they're kind of contradictory. What do I particularly do? And as I stated before, it is easier to adopt what somebody else is doing. It's easier to just listen to what everyone else is doing. It's easier for you to just kind of robotically do what everybody's telling you of like, man, Maybe you should just go with first, next, best, most because they all mean different things. But again, first, next, best, most, they all mean the same thing. It doesn't dictate how you answer the question. And then another person may be like, man, you should be looking for these buzzwords. Anytime it says feelings, anytime it says assess, anytime it says gather information, any of these things. Like I said, it's easier to do that. It's easier to adopt what somebody else is telling you. It's easier for you to be like, yep, I'm just going to be that person today. But the problem is, the problem is, it's not what works best for you. You have to analyze and say, that may have worked for that individual, but that's not who I am. That may have worked for them, but I have to have some discernment. I have to identify who am I? What do I need? What in particular makes me who I am? Because once you start doing that, you start realizing that I can't just accept things for face value. I can't just accept what somebody else has told me. I can't just accept things to be the way that they are in the situation. I have to adapt the situation. I have to adapt the information, I have to adapt anything that I possibly have to do and change it so that way it aligns with who I am. 
It aligns with what makes sense for me. It aligns for what I need. And way too many times do I hear people say, man, this other program told me I need to be doing this. This other program told me I need to be doing that. I got onto a Facebook group and they told me I need to be doing all these wild things, but it didn't really connect with the person. And they knew it didn't connect with them, but they stopped listening to themselves and they ignored their voice. They ignored their heart. They ignored who they were and they started becoming everybody else. And it wasn't a surprise to me when they were like, you know what? I went into the exam, panicked, and then I wanted to get the hell out of there because I didn't I didn't see it working. I didn't see the strategies working. So that's my push is if you know something's not working in practice, do not continue to do something that's not working because it's not going to just randomly get better. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't go through difficult situations. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't have some adversity. That doesn't mean that you should have to go without the growing pains. That doesn't mean that this should be a seamless situation of where you just go in and be like, I'm here. But the problem is a lot of times people mistake a lot of times people mistake pleasure for progress. A lot of times people would rather have pleasure or feel some joy than get progress in a situation. Why? Because at the heart of it, progress, in order to progress in anything in any way, shape, or form, you have to have that talk with yourself of, I may not be the best person at this. I may not be doing the things that I want to today. I may not be getting everything correct. I may not be perfect. I may not be doing all these right things that everyone else is doing or I'm seeing everybody's highlight reel, but then having my shame reel go 100% of my days. But that's my push is you got to start identifying, not accepting what is today, but embracing who you are in the future, but not just faking it until you make it, not just manifesting whatever you particularly think should be going on, but you have to be doing steps forward, whatever that looks like. It may feel like you're going 10 steps back, but the problem is you're not looking back to see how far you come. You're looking at forward and saying, how much further do I have to go? Because a lot of times people are only able to see the progress point that somebody has told you that you're capable of reaching. We are only as deep. We are only as intelligent. We are only as privileged and gifted as the situations that we've been exposed to. But the problem is people become so exposed to what feels good and what feels right to them based on somebody else that they don't ever ask themselves, what do I want today? Like, what does this feel like for me? What does this mean for me? What does this mean to the person that's telling me the stuff that they're telling me? And a lot of times people say, you know what? I don't even feel like that person was listening to what I had to say. They were just telling me what they went through and what they thought was best for me. And that's not how life works. That's not how you would treat a client. And again, we're not all our own clients, but if you're treating yourself one way and then treating somebody else a different way, there's a disconnect there. There's a lack of consistency. And the problem is consistency kills because the more consistent you are at doing something, the more likely you're going to see the progress. But if you're doing something one way and then switch it to another way and then switch it to another way and then switch it to another way, but don't give it time to grow or foster or identify anything of what it would work, of course you're not seeing the progress. Because you're doing three, four, five different things at the same god darn time. But the problem is, the problem is, is we want those highlights. We want that validation. We want to feel good. And I want you to feel good too, but I don't want you to feel good at the expense of what you need to be good in the future. I don't want you to feel good in the moment, but not become good and great in the future because of what your feelings are telling you today. And that's what I mean. There's a lot of times it's easier. We, we want to take the path of least resistance. But again, just like how we would be working with a client or if you were talking to a friend, you wouldn't just let them accept what's at face value. Not that we're bulldozing people, but if somebody's going through something and, and your friend's like, man, this isn't working for me or man, I've been doing X, Y, and Z and I don't feel right with it. What would you do? What are some other ways that you could look at it? Or man, what are some things that you wanted to get out of this that you haven't gotten out of it? And what are some things that you can do to get that out of that? But a lot of times we're nicer to other people than we are to ourselves. We are often nicer to other people than we are to ourselves because we are the only people that have been through all that we've been through. And if you've heard tapes that you're not good enough and that you always have to be disposable to every other person, or you always have to be available to other people, or you always have to be X, Y, or Z for other people, 
And if you're not those things that you're not getting the affirmation, you're not getting the credit, you're not getting the validation that you want to get, of course, you're going to make adaptations in the situation to what may not be best for you. But the problem is we oftentimes are making adaptations or what we think are adaptations, but we're actually adopting the ways of other people because we want to be accepted by people that may never ever give it to us. Because the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. So if this is the way that you're studying or if this is the way you're approaching a situation, you got to make some changes. But the problem is changes hurt. Changes are painful. And where you want to go may cause you to experience pain, but it's way better to experience pain temporarily than to live a life that you don't want to live. It's easier. It's easier for you to kind of go through the path of least resistance but nothing you want to accomplish is going to come easy. And if it does come easy, you have to ask yourself, why is this so easy? Not because you're doubting yourself, but what do I need to do in order to maintain this? Because the goal isn't for you to just go into the exam, kick a directly in the chest, get your license, and everything is going to be great. Because again, that one thing can change a lot, but that doesn't change the mainframe of who you are. That doesn't change the way that you conduct yourself. That doesn't mean that you're going to change the way that you talk to yourself. It's not going to change all these different things. So that's my push today is you got to re reflect on how am I treating myself? What are the things that I'm accepting? What are the things that I'm doing? And what are the results? What are the situations? And what are the people that I'm being surrounded with? And is this okay for me today? That is my push for you is it's easier to do something, but don't always take the easy route out. Don't always do what somebody else is telling you to do. Even if it's something I've said, if it doesn't work for you, that's okay. Because I don't want you to be me. I want you to be 100% you, competent, comfortable, and competent in whatever you do. So that's what I mean is you just got to go out being 100% you. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. It doesn't matter what your coworker says. It doesn't matter what your colleague says. It doesn't matter what your supervisor says. It doesn't matter what your partner says. It doesn't matter what your friends say. It doesn't matter what your classmates have said. You got to do you. Because you're the only body, you're the only person, you're the only person that knows you. You're the only person that knows everything about yourself. You're the only person that knows how you operate. You're the only person that is so close to yourself that your standards are so high because you want to be successful. But the problem is you forgot the way to success is by going each rung up versus you just leapfrog into the top. But you let other people fill in the spaces because you want you want them to come along with you, but the people that are truly rocking with you are actually going to take you to that next level. They're not going to keep you on the same level. They're not going to do behaviors that lock you in. They're not going to do things that could actually harm you long term. But people that care about you, they may put you through painful situations, but you got to understand what's the purpose of that pain. Get a reward for that pain. Find a purpose for that pain. Don't feel like it's an inconvenience. Feel like it's a blessing that's in disguise. And once you get that disguise off, you will never have to disguise yourself to anybody. So hopefully that was helpful for somebody. Because again, I want you to be 100% you, but I do not want you to hide behind all of your accomplishments. I don't want you to hide behind all these different things that people told you were important, but deep down, you know, they're not that important to you. You got to find a reason. You got to do everything that you need to do for yourself because you can do this. A lot of times people don't hear that of you can do this. All they hear is here's all the changes you got to make, but they're not listening to what you need to do and making that adaptation because the people that care about you and rep and rock with you will meet you where you're at. Just like you meet other people where they're at, but you got to start treating yourself like you would treat somebody that you care about. No more of this. I'm treating myself like how I treat somebody else because you're treating other people better than yourself. Build yourself up. Keep doing the next right thing. Do not let one thought, one situation, one person take you outside of what you know to be true. Like I said, hopefully that was helpful for somebody. I hope to see you in the Sunday study groups. Hope to see you in individual tutoring. Hope to see you in the one-day course. Hope to see you in the free study group this Saturday. And like I said, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate every single one of you guys that allow me to be able to do this. Words can't even express how much it means to me that I'm able to do this or that I'm able to share things. And your guys' words, your guys' emails, you guys passing the exam me more than anything. Because like I said, life isn't easy, but it's easier to see that there's progress in some way, shape, or form. It's easy to go through pain when you see that changes are happening. So keep doing the next right thing. Like I said, I'll see you guys in the next video. 
I love every single one of you guys. Take care. Be safe. If you have any questions, send me an email at berda24 at gmail.com. I'm getting the heck out of here, guys. In peace. Out, guys.